Well hello there YouTube comic community and welcome to episode 2 of my show of CGC's Ed Brubaker run from 2005. Uh, in my humble opinion the best modern Captain America run. Uh, but before I get stuck in, uh, can you tell I'm hot? Woo! As you can see I'm back in the summer house and we are having a very very lovely summer's day. But man, it's so hot. The thing is, if I open up the windows, you get extraneous noise outside. You know, we've got a barky dog going on. Um, and it's not pleasant in that way. It's especially not pleasant for you viewers, because I, I like you to watch and listen to the video with a minimum of interruption. But in saying that, this episode is sponsored by uh, Argus Beer, the popular French brand at 4%. No, I actually didn't pay me a red cent for doing this, so... But it's still a very fine beer. I do like it. So, moving on. Um, this is issue number 11. Slab by CGC. And there we have the Winter Soldier. 9.6. Very respectable grade for this. Now, honesty is everything. I got these done years ago. I'm trying to think whether I had these done in 2005 or whether I actually just stored them and had them done a couple of years later. But um, I did get them slabbed quite near to the date. Uh, and I did them bit by bit. It really took me many years to, to slab all my Captain Americas. Because after Ed finished the run, um, I carried on. I carried on submitting and getting them slabbed. So, uh, yeah. I mean, some of these are... I mean, I call that... That's a, For me, that's a high grade. You can't expect 9.8s in every single modern age comic. It's just not, not done. I mean, yeah, it's nice to get 9.8s, but 9.6... To be honest with you, anything above a 9.0 is still very respectable, and you shouldn't uh, whip yourself for not getting a 9.8. Still beautiful, isn't that? Lovely Steve Epstein cover as well. And this is issue number 11. The Winter Soldier, part four. What is this? You see this is a 7.5. Uh, I haven't got any notes at hand, but there must be something inside that didn't do the book justice because uh, there's no spine ticks or bent corners that I can see. But that's fine. And here comes that sun again, so we might get a bit of a white out on the video every now and again. Wonderful art. And uh, the, the cover for this was drawn by Steve Epting, Michael Lark, and Mike Perkins. And again, full disclosure, Mike Perkins. Like me, he's a Shrewsbury lad, Shrewsbury, Shropshire, UK, and uh, we do have a natter on the old instant messages now and again uh, over our bringings up at the time, etc. In the lovely medieval town of Shrewsbury, even though most of it's bulldozed down now, and it's now replaced by concrete, but everybody wants to think of it as a medieval town. It's a lovely modern town. Uh, issue number 13, The Winter Soldier, part 5. Again, 9.6. I have no quibbles with that. Great art again. Lovely, 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 lovely. Issue number 14. Which also is partly based on, as I'm reading above, Captain America Comics number 27 from June 43. Superb. So if you don't know by now, you do obviously get the two, Winter Soldier and Bucky. You, you do know that there's the same person, which was an amazing way that Brubaker 
brought him back into comics. The best possible way. Um, if you haven't read the stories, no spoilers. But absolutely masterful way that uh, Bucky was... The way that Bucky was brought back. Fantastic. That's a 9.4. Yeah, you know. I mean, in a modern comic, if I got down to a grade of, let's say, you know, 7.5 and below, that's when it's time to... You know, I've got one 7.5 in there, as you've already seen. It's, it's time to really look for another. So i got so much on the go, I can't be bothered to replace that with a better, better graded version. It is what it is. And this is issue number 15. Please note, Wizard Best Series of 2005. And again, a very respectable 9.6. Now, thank goodness, uh, CGC continued to improve their cases. Because as you can see, when they put the labels on the outside, little sticky labels, you can see what happens. The flipping things peel off. So. Love them. Love those cases. And here is issue number 16. Graded 9.6 again. Fabulous artwork. Yeah, uh, and uh, I think in the Omnibus, Volume 1 is about to get reprinted. So that would be a perfect place to, for you guys and gals to jump in if you've not read this run. I think that's coming out in January 21. Issue number 17. Herb cover. Crossbones and Sin are in there. Cynthia Schmidt, Red Skull's daughter. Fantastic. And issue number 18, the start of a new story arc. 21st Century Blitz, part one. 9.6 again. And if there's any um, non-UK residents who are watching this and they've seen Big Ben, I can tell you, Big Ben ain't that big. I've seen bigger tower blocks, I've seen bigger multi-storey car parks than Big Ben. It ain't all it's cracked up to be, folks. Issue 19 coming up. Look at that. With a, a Union Jack and Spitfire guest appearances. 9.6 again. I mean, look at the action on that cover. And as it's so hot in here, I'm going to have to have another sip of my fabulous French lager. Mm. Oh, that really hits a spot on a hot day. Whew. And the last one for today, guys and gals, is issue number 20. Part three? Yep, 21st Century Blitz part three. Lovely. Now, I think next week on episode three is where it all starts to go just a little bit crazy with the cover art, because that is when a certain issue hits the stands and there's massive, massive repercussions, but there's about a zillion and one uh, variant covers of which I've got them all. So even though next week it's going to be from um, 12 to 
beg your pardon, from 21 to 30. There may be 15, 20 issues in there. There may be 25 issues I'm going to be showing you. So be prepared next week for an episode which is going to be at least double the length of this one. At least. Thank you for watching everyone. I am sorry I'm melting here. It is so hot. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you're, you've had a good week, are having a good week. I hope your week progresses even better for you if you're not. Or even if you are, I hope everything is moving swimmingly, wonderfully in your life. Because in the times we're in, there is no point in negativity. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. Enjoy what you enjoy. Um, as my good friend Wallace Ryan says, love you all to bits. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for subscribing. Um, and I shall see you on the next vid. Be well, everybody.